In this demonstration, we're going to demonstrate how Faraday and Lenz's law apply to a set of coils and magnetic bar magnets. Faraday's law tells us how a magnetic field induces a voltage. And it does so in this equation. We have an induced voltage, which we call the EMF voltage, which is equal to the number of coils times the change of magnetic flux over time. And the magnetic flux is equal to the strength of the magnetic field dotted with the cross-sectional area of the coils. And Lenz's law tells us the direction in which this EMF voltage is set up when a magnetic field is applied. And Lenz's law tells us that a voltage is set up at, to oppose the change in magnetic flux through a set of coils. So we'll see how that's applied in this demonstration. So in this demo, we have a set of coils which are connected in, by a set of wires in series with a galvanometer. And currently, there is no power source or any sort of batteries. So you can see that the reading on the galvanometer, which measures current, says zero. Now, I have a bar magnet with a north and south pole. And when I move the bar magnet through the coils, you'll notice that on the galvanometer will read some sort of current. But the current doesn't stay that way too long because it quickly moves back to zero. And that's because I'm no longer changing the magnetic field through the set of coils. But now when I remove the magnetic, when I remove the bar magnet through the coils, the opposite way, the reading on the galvanometer goes in the opposite direction. So it's setting up a, a voltage to oppose the change in magnetic flux. Now this was like, this was a certain bar magnet with a certain magnetic field strength. I have a weaker bar magnet. And you'll notice that compared to the original, since the magnetic field is smaller, the flux is smaller, so the change in flux is smaller, and therefore the current induced is much weaker. And you can also demonstrate this by changing the poles. So when I do the north pole through the coils, it goes to the positive direction. And when I take it out, it goes to the negative. Now if I switch the poles to a south side, it does the exact opposite. Because the voltage is being set up to oppose the magnetic flux, and if I change the pole directions, it sets up the voltage in the opposite manner.